Hey guys. So, a lot of people ask me what's the craziest or what's the most memorable game that I've ever played, and it has to be this one. This is a game between me and Jerry Lerman. Uh, Jerry's like a super nice guy, a little bit quirky, loves the San Francisco Giants, also plays tournament chess in addition to tournament Scrabble. He's been playing in tournaments for about 40 years, with the most notable achievement being second at the 2007 Players' Championship for $5,500. So I begin in exchange three. Um, I want to maximize the odds of me drawing a bingo. So I kept D-E-I-N. Cost will keep A-D-E-I-N, or you could play through this rack with like D-N or Idea or something like that. But I elected to trade. So Jerry opens with Fistula for 78. Luckily, I draw the blank and I get to play Maidenly for 75. But Jerry bingo's right back with Fenlins for 76. I draw extremely well, I draw the ING combo, and I draw the second blank, and that allows me to play a hoisting for 122, and that gives me a 43 point lead. Jerry comes right back, he plays Leaguer for 81, and now he has the lead. So my rank is really bad, uh, AKOOUV, I play Koa, uh, I keep OOUV which is really bad, but I score 38 points, I block XI, I block QI, and hopefully I'll just draw some tiles that will allow me to play something better next turn. Jay plays Palewise, uh, this will be the fourth thing going in a row, and takes a 77 point lead. Uh, luckily for me, I draw really, really well. I draw ERT, and I actually get to play a bingo with OOUV. I get to play Outdrove for 64, which gets me back in the game. Jerry gets Ecosides down, uh, that would make the fifth bingo in a row for Jerry. Uh, 65 points, and a 78 point lead for Jerry. Anyway, I don't draw well, and I decide to try to maximize bingo percentage again. Since I'm down by 78 points, I'm really going to need a bingo next turn, or very, very soon if I ever want any chance of getting back to this game. So, even though there are legitimate plays that score roughly 20 points, they don't keep the best of leaves, so I like to exchange. Jerry bingos yet again, he plays Rosy late. It's a very high probability bingo. And at this point, I'm in trouble. I'm down by over 140 points here, and I'm probably not going to win this game. But there is still hope. And I do draw a scoring play. At 01, I draw Bath. And that puts me within 100 at least. And there's potential for scoring on future turns. So I'm not completely dead yet, but it's looking bleak for me. Jerry actually doesn't bingo. He plays Fix for 39. Um, plays off the F and the X. That being said, it does imply that he's a very strong leave in his next rack. And indeed, he did, as you can see here. So I do know that I'm very likely to face a thing on the next turn, or at least some really high scoring play. I draw the J, and I play John. I think that's definitely the correct play here. Um, again, I'm within 100 points. I'm almost within 80 here, so there is some possibility of me getting back in this game, but not really. Jerry does indeed bingo next turn. He plays training, and at this point, we are eight, in, we're eight turns into the game, and he has played seven bingos. Now, at this point, 7 bingos is the record for the number of bingos played in the game. I mean, it's done it in only 8 turns. So, at this point, my thought process is, well, let me just make sure he doesn't bingo for the 8th time. I don't want to be the record setter. I don't want to be the guy that is the person who is known for being on the wrong side of history. So, I'm looking at my rack, and I see Bortz for 48. And, yeah, it's 48 points. It's pretty good. And it empties the bag. and. I think it does the best job at minimizing the odds of Jerry bingoing, either this turn or the last turn. You know, if I played QI or something like that, then Jerry could fish or something like that, and they didn't want that to happen. So I played Bortz, but sure enough, he plays pre-armed, and he gets that 8th bingo down. And this is the only time that 8 bingos has ever happened in the game of Scrabble, on one side. I scored 3 bingos myself, so that's 11. That's also a record, that's also never happened before. And again, he didn't draw a single blank. Usually to get 8 bingos, you need to draw a blank to have any chance at this whatsoever. So here's a scorecard to illustrate just how crazy this game was. As you can see, some ridiculous averages. And check out those low scores. Just really sick. Anyway, thanks for watching, and hope to see you in another video.